Hey guys, Bubba Bricks here with another video and today what I have for you guys is a top 10 video where I will be counting down my top 10 most wanted 2019 LEGO sets. So without further ado, let's get into this. Starting off with number 10 we have the LEGO Movie 2 set, Rex's Rexstream Off-Roader which is going to retail for $30. I like the Jeep included in this set as well as the blue Velociraptor. I love how with the new Rex Danger Bus character they are playing with the whole idea of Chris Pratt playing him as well. The Jeep is nothing amazing but it's still a good build. I like the Mayfigure selection with Emmett and Rex, I only wish they had thrown just one more Mayfig, but that's no big deal. The alternative builds are very nice as well but I prefer the Jeep build the most. Now for number 9 we have the Lego Ninjago Monastery Training which I'm guessing is going to retail for 10 to 15 bucks. I love the two main fix of Kai and Nia and the build of the monastery training area is very nice as well. There's not too much of the set itself but the main fix are the big draw here. Now number 8 is going to be a Star Wars 2019 set which is the ATAP Walker for 60 bucks. This which is actually not bad for the piece count of 689 pieces, especially considering this is a Star Wars set. I think this is a cool set, but I don't know why they are releasing it this soon. They had basically the exact same set with a very similar build back in 2014. This set isn't even one like the X-Wing or TIE Fire which are iconic Star Wars sets that are very popular. I personally don't think this set will sell very, will sell very well, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now, number 7 is going to be another Star Wars set, which is the Inferno Squad Battle Pack, which is going to retail for 15 bucks. The main figures look very cool, but I don't have a connection to them because this is based off the Star Wars Battlefront 2 game, which I do not own. The red and black armor theme gives a really nice superior imperial look to the troops. The spear build is good for a battle pack, but we all know people don't buy battle packs for the builds. I'm going to try to get my hands on one of these eventually, but I have other sets I would like to get first. Number 6 is a city set, the Diving Yacht, which is going to be 20 bucks. This set, in my opinion, has a very nice sleek design that appears to even have a floatable boat piece. The main figures are nice and it's really nice to get a swordfish, which has not been easy to get since they've released it only in two larger sets. The boat interior is very cool. The main bill included doesn't interest me very much, but I like that they include a chest piece. I like that new woman hair piece and it's great that they put in hair pieces for both main figures. Number 5 is a smaller set from the Star Wars line, which is the Naboo Starfire Microfire, which is going to be $10. I was not able to get the Anakin main figure from the 2015 Naboo Starfire, so it's nice to get him in this small $10 set. The Starfire build looks a little chubby, but I like that in these Microfire sets. There's not too much more on this set, but I'm definitely going to try to pick this one up. For number 4 we have another LEGO Movie 2 set, the Benny Space Squad set which is going to retail for $10. I love how this set truly feels like a space set from the 80s. I really like how they have brought back the old helm space helmet design for these Mayfigures. The builds really do have that simple look to them which makes it feel even more like this sets from the 80s space line. The Moon Rover and Spaceship don't have a whole lot to them, but like I said earlier, they match this set perfectly. We get Kenny, Benny, Lenny, and Jenny, the Spaceman and Woman, which is going to be the main draw of this set. Number 3 is another LEGO Ninjaga movie set, the Monastery of Spinjitsu, which is going to be 80 bucks. This main figure selection for this set reminds me of the LEGO Ninjago Temple of Erjitsu from 2015, which I own and absolutely love. This set includes a main mini figures of all the ninja and sensei Wu like the Temple of Erjitsu did. The monastery build looks very beautiful and has an ancient Asian look to it. I hope to be able to pick this set up eventually and even if I don't, this set is still amazing. Next for number 2 on the list we have the LEGO Star Wars Death Star Escape which is going to be $30. These main figures are amazing and the build is really nice with main play features as well. The big draw here for me in this set is the A New Hope Princess Leia main figure which recently has only been available in the $500 Death Star set. The look is really nice to get as well, but has been commonly released in recent LEGO Star Wars sets. Um, it's gonna be nice to see how the new Stormtrooper design works out. The fully function of the build is nice for playability and the minifigure fleeing feature is okay, I guess. It's something special. The extendable bridge is great and 
what looks like it'd be a closing door function should be fun. This set is probably going to be one of the first Star Wars 2019 sets I get. And, and finally, number one on the list, of course, is going to be another Star Wars set. This one is the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack. This has to be one of the best battle packs we've gotten in a while and will go great with my Snoke's Throne Room. It's going to be an easy way for those who don't want to spend $70 on Snoke's Throne Room to get some Praetorian Guards. There is of course still one random Stormtrooper thrown in there for the, to fill the 4th Mayfigure spot, but I don't mind getting another Stormtrooper at all. It's a lot better than those First Order crew members LEGO has been putting in battle packs lately. The build is nice as well, and it should be fun to have the guard stool with a spinning function. The droid included is a nice addition as well, and the guard's weapons are very cool. This is, is most likely the first set I'm going to get from the 2019 line, and I'm very happy with it. So there you guys have it, my top 10 most wanted 2019 sets. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and like these sets as much as I do. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Boba Bricks where I upload main figure pictures. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.